So, um, as I was trying to okay, um, so as I was trying to think of uh, a way to make this student services speech uh, not too cliche because student services speech can become very much cliche, uh, but also trying to make it as cliche as possible. Uh, I thought of a lot of alternative ways to do this. Uh, shout out to Shannon Freck and Seth Thomas for helping me along the way. And uh, I think Clement Clark Moore or Henry Livingston may be rolling in their graves, but here goes. Twas the night before moving, when all through the halls, not a freshman was scurrying because they hadn't moved in yet. <laughs> the door decks were hung by the hall staff with care, in hopes that the residents soon would be there. The RAs were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of futons and fridges and reforms and frustrated families all danced in their eyes. <laughs> And the RDs, Dustin and Dr. Rossi and the rest, had just settled down for a late summer's rest. When out on the mall there arose such a singing, I sprang from my bed to relieve my ears ringing. I flew to the window, looking forward and behind, tore back the curtains and threw up the blinds. When who should appear, singing fight song in meters, but a move-in cart with eight tiny welcoming leaders. <laughs> with a brand new cart driver, not a lay, but a cannon, I knew in a moment it must be Father Lennon. <laughs> More rapid than blue jays, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Eklund, now Linden, now Katie, now Eric. On beetles, on guides, now let's not be barbaric. <laughs> To the top of Kiewit, to the top of Swanson Hall. Now move it in, move it in, move it in all. <laughs> so up to the rooftop, the leaders they flew, with a cart full of furniture, and Father Landon too. <laughs> and then in a jiffy I heard with a splatter, the jostling and jolting of cartwheels a clatter, and the strange off-key shouting of blue-shirted crazies, carrying boxes and boxes for all of the lazies. <laughs> <laughs> As I drew in my head and was turning around, through the neutral zone, Father Landon came with a bound. He was dressed all in black from his head to his ear. He said with a chuckle, your students are here. <laughs> As he gazed at the move-in procession melee, he saw Welcome Week and the RAs and did say, They tell me your conflict when singing the fight song, but I think that this discord is just clearly wrong. As RAs, your job to community build needs a kickoff to help the transition be filled. With the positive lessons Welcome Week leaders impart, your year is begun with true value. That's smart. As Welcome Week, you need RAs for support to further the culture your RSP reports. You seek to imagine, encounter, inspire. What better way than role models to admire? The leaders to Curion's and RA position play integral roles in the student's transition. What Father Lennon said rang a bell in my ears as I thought of my journey at Creighton through the years. I remembered my welcome week three years ago when they prodded our class to dream, challenge, and grow. <laughs> <laughs> and when my time came, and when time came myself to welcome in due fashion, as a sophomore I led my group to pursue their passion. <laughs> All these sayings, not meaningless, danced in my mind as I thought to myself what important work would be coming. That didn't rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when Red's life arrived, I thought, wow, I'm in luck. It's like welcome week all year long with more than just J-Bucks. <laughs> And though our methods are different, our mission rings true. Welcome Week and Res Life develop students at CU. The ultimate goal is success and retention with optimal living and civic ascension. <laughs> and so, Father Landon had helped us to know how similar our goals together would grow. And the rooms all bursting with students' new toys, the leaders of Landon all left with due noise. A great year of service ahead would remain, and Father Landon had shown us our link in the chain. As he left from the building, he said with great cheer, Happy move-in to all, and to all a good year.
that was certainly not what I was expecting. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, so, uh, last but not least, uh, we're going to have Dr. Joe Eklund, Director of the Office of Student Success Month. Uh,